childhood friends. We've all had them. They've kept us company. They've played with us and entertained us. But it is safe to assume most of us don't have a childhood friend quite like this. On December 11th, 2020, Trevor Henderson, a horror and comics illustrator, posted a terrifying picture of some being standing around in what I believe is the photographer's home. The entity is named Mr. Bag, which goes really well with his appearance. However, whether he's actually made out of plastic, I could not yet say. There's not much given to us in a description. Therefore, we must first analyze the image. At first glance, we find our first clue as to who or what this is. We see an extremely pale face that only manages to look like a creepy mask. The actual head must be located within the black material, while the rest of the body is completely covered giving off some heavy mummy vibes. The next thing your eyes will train themselves on is the drawing on the wall. The drawings look very simplistic, yet not quite what a kid would draw. Instead, it seems more likely that Mr. Bag drew them himself. The simple drawing entails a yearning, a yearning for freedom and company. There are five points to these drawings. There is a tree, a human, a house, Mr. Bag inside the house, and Mr. Bag outside of it, flying. Before we could arrive at a conclusion, Let's first try to gather some more clues. Thankfully, in the next couple of days, Trevor uploaded two more images. One, a drawing of a little girl, and the other is a picture with enough information to help us reach an understanding of this entity. There's quite a lot of detail the drawing provides us. The three obvious points are that Mr. Bag is tall, shiny, and wrapped up inside some sort of chassis. Now, with this drawing, we know for certain the girl did not draw on that wall, since even with a chair, she would have not been able to reach. But another key point in this drawing is that his eyes are crossed out almost as if he were dead. This tells us that Mr. Bag's face is unmoving, never changing. Also, we cannot dismiss the fact that this outer chassis is moved by the soul, which explains why he was depicted flying in the wall sketch. Now, looking into the third image, we gain a better insight into the situation. The following was written in the description. Hey dad, it's going okay. Yeah, I can tell it'll take a lot longer to clean than I thought. I haven't even touched the basement yet. I thought I heard an animal down there. Yeah, I know you warned me. It's okay. It'll give me a chance to say goodbye. Yeah, love you too. Bye. There's a few key points we can take away from this. One, the girl has matured and is in the process of moving out. Two, Mr. Bag was discarded at some point in her teenage years 
but instead of the trash, he has stayed in the basement all this time. And three, it seems she'll be going down to her basement for the first time in years to say goodbye to her childhood friend. The picture also has some important clues that could help us in theorizing what's to come. Will she get to say goodbye? In the image, we see a much taller Mr. Bag. This could be chunked at the idea of a difference in perspective. Maybe the first picture was taken by her father, while this one was taken by her. Nevertheless, even if that was true, there is no doubt in my mind that Mr. Bag got taller. After all, this is the perspective of a now mature young lady and not of a child. Yet, the same drastic difference in size has remained ever the same. How, or more importantly, why did it reach this height? Has he been increasing his corporal mass? And to what end? For this moment, perhaps? We know he can fly, and there's no doubt in my mind that he carries enough mass to be able to make substantially loud noises in order to get free. And if he drew himself flying on that wall, does that mean he yearns for freedom? And if so, why did he stay and wait this long? Something that could help us reach a conclusion, or at least get as close to it as possible, is a subtle detail which is found on her call with her father. I thought I heard an animal down there. They are not used to hearing any noises coming from the basement, which is the reason why she dismissed the idea of it being Mr. Bag, and instead assumed that it was caused by some animal. Something is changing. Why did he grow that tall? Why did he start moving and making noise on the exact day she was leaving him? Wanna hear my theory? I think, I think that perhaps Mr. Bag doesn't want to be left behind. He wants to go outside. He wants company. Perhaps this was the reason why he hasn't left. Maybe he can't. He could possibly be binded to that place. And the reason for the now sudden movement and change in size can be derived from the fact that it knows she is leaving. He doesn't want her to leave. And as we've seen, he doesn't mind if she's in another room, as long as she lives in that house. I don't really think a giant levitating bag carrying a corpse has much for rationality. He might even think she's betraying him by moving out. You know very well what I'm getting at. But wait, dear. Surely a giant plastic bag can't possibly keep her there. And to that I ask you, have you ever tried to breathe through a plastic bag? You will find that a thin sheet of plastic is more than enough to keep someone in one place. Forever. This has been Trevor's Mr. Bag. If you liked the video, make sure to share and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our Discord. This video's phrase was chosen by Reaper Rogue Agent. Here it comes. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo.